I'm Josh Kelly, World of Wade, currently 6 0 fighting for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icons. So, according to a few articles online, Terence Bud Crawford, the WBO welterweight world champion, has offered Special K, Kel Brook, one and a half million dollars to fight him next. Now, before we go into the fight itself, talk about the money. One and a half million dollars is that a good offer for Kel Brook? Here in the UK, Kel Brook is a very big name. In fact, Kel Brook is one of my favourite fighters. But is it a good offer for a world title fight? You'd have to say no, not really. Especially as Crawford, he's. Um, pound for pound for many people and for a lot of people they certainly have him in the top three maybe five who knows but either way he's one of the top fighters in the world undefeated former undisputed super lightweight champion all that kind of good stuff Kel Brook of course is a former IBF world champion as well only two losses on his resume and neither one of them you could be ashamed to lose him against Triple G where he moved up two weight divisions and the very next fight when he moved down back to world weight to defend his IBF world to weight title against Errol Spence Jr. From which I still firmly believe, I know people will disagree with me, but I think that uh, Kel Brook had his orbital bone not broke in the Errol Spence Jr. fight and he was getting flashbacks from the Triple G about his eyesight could go, his career would be over. I think that had that not have happened, he'd have beaten Errol Spence Jr. Because he was beating him up until that punch. But at the end of the day, Errol Spence did land that punch. So if, but some maybe, right? But either way, I think that for me personally, Kel Brook, Terence Crawford, it's an interesting fight for me. It is. Can Kel Brook make the 147 limit? Yes, I believe he can. Because even though he's been fighting at 154, he has been weighing under the 154 limit. Okay? So he's been showing that if necessary, if a good offer comes through for a welterweight fight, he can make the way. And he deliberately done it when he fought Michael Zarafa as well, because obviously he's trying to chase the Amir Khan fight. Amir Khan, one of his stipulations of the fight was, you have to fight at 147, all that kind of stuff. So he was showing that he can make the weight. Now a fight with Terence Crawford, that should get him out of bed. Kell Brook says he doesn't want any of these knockover fights or anything. He wants something where he can get his teeth into and get out of bed. Terence Crawford is certainly that one. Now, again, there could be some form of bragging rights in some way, because obviously Kell Brook's rival, Amir Khan, who I'm definitely not gonna be talking about, with uh, them two fight, fight each other because I'm sick to death of it. Amir Khan fought Terence Crawford and of course got stopped or arguably Amir Khan quit against um, Terence Crawford. But if Kell Brook can do a better job than what maybe Amir Khan done, then again, it's what they would see as bragging rights domestically here in the UK. So again, there's quite a few elements to this fight and would Kell Brook beat Terence Crawford? Don't count him out. Kel Brook is a huge, huge puncher and very, very skillful. Unfortunately for Kel, he has wasted a lot of his career, and I'll be brutally honest, as a massive fan of his, I have to say, he has wasted quite a bit of time and momentum trying to chase an Amir Khan fight that I think most people could see was never going to materialize. So he has stalled a lot of his career, so inactivity hasn't been helping him. And of course, not fighting some of the top guys around also hasn't helped him. Although his last couple of uh, opponents haven't been too bad, but he's handled them quite well. Of course, he has struggled at times as well. But I think that Kel Brook against um, Terence Crawford stylistically is an interesting fight. It will be Terence Crawford, definitely going to be the favourite in that fight for sure. But don't write off Kel Brook. Don't write off Kel Brook landing a massive, massive punch in that fight. But you know what? Terence Crawford, he's a pound for pound fighter for a very good reason, that's for sure. So for me, I don't hate on that fight. I know some people don't like it because I said, you know, they prefer the Errol Spence Jr. fight or the uh, Sean Porter fight, that kind of thing. Of course, that's in America, but here in the UK, I can only speak for my UK bias. Kell Brook is a very good option, in my opinion, anyway. Drop your thoughts below about it, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all in the next video.